a Sony HBR dash Z5 um, needs a uh, tape deck replaced. Uh, to strip this unit down, normally we would start with the tape deck side. And start by pulling this side out first to get into the tape deck. But uh, with this you can't do that. You have to start on the opposite side and work your way into the tape deck. Um, seems like a bit of hardship but it can be done easily enough. Um, what I'm going to do first is take this battery off. There's screws here at the bottom. We'll take these out. We got this little cover here as well. This has to be removed. The access to a cable that's inside. There is a cable right in there. And we pull it out like that. Get the pliers. And that how it comes. Pull this, take this uh, cable holder off. There is a screw beneath it. Right there. Three screws along the top. Should lift up. Always be careful when you're lifting sides of cameras off, there could be cables. And here's the cable that I just disconnected through this little hole, and it goes up here to the seam functions and the camera on off controls. this PCB. Remove all these various cables onto this PCB because this PCB has got to come out. We have to be careful with these clips. Um, some of these clips look like they come up like this, which one does. But there's one over here that lifts the opposite way. If you force it the other way, it will. I'll just get a close up shot of that. goes down well it's this one it's the opposite so just be careful if you quick uh, a look at it it looks the same but it isn't start using the pliers as it comes this here is like a blank end, uh, I'm not going to take that out. And uh, look here. Yeah. 
these ones out now these just slide out I don't I tend not to pull them by the cable because the cables are uh, very delicate and very expensive turn it around we have one cable here I didn't take off I just this clip just slides up so you can get a shot of it This is the one we lifted earlier on. This here lifts that way. Yeah. Pulls out, handy enough. And there's a cable here as well. this out here now I'll remove the four screws four copper screws Just get a closer shot we still got two here two cables that descend to disconnect but when I remove this they're just easier to disconnect. This comes out, and we've got this one here, and that comes out. That's our board out. Be careful to follow all ESD precautions when you remove these or touch them. They're very sensitive to ESD damage. Um, normally, you have a wrist strap on you at least, and uh, uh, heel straps and a the bench is ESD safe as well. This is the cable that will uh, that goes connects up to the tape deck, and which makes it difficult to pull the uh, the other side, um, pull the deck out from the other side. You would still have to um, take this side off to get this reconnected, and you would you would risk damaging the cable. Um, and remove this metal plate as well. There is uh, one, two. Three, four, five screws, and two down here as well. Uh, it's not you don't need to take it off to get the tape deck out, but it certainly makes it easier to get this cable, feed this cable through when you're putting it back together. There's one screw that holds the uh, the left hand side casing on. You get access to it in here. Uh, the silver screw here.
Very long one. Got to remove this uh, cassette uh, cover. And to do that, there's one screw there. another one right there and that just should slip up and off. These four hooks hook into these four slots on here. You see what? One, two, three, four, four slots. Just slide into there. Now we have three screws inside this uh, cassette compartment, that's why that door had to come off. One here. One there. And there's another one in here. Three screws at the bottom. It should slide off now. But be careful, you still got a cable going through. So be gentle. And here's that cable that we disconnected from the far side. To remove the tape deck now from this side cover, there's four screws holding in place. One, two, three, and four. Now we've got to get this PCB off and uh, you have to get these cables out first, put them out and uh, lift the tab. tabs on these two. Now we'll remove these two copper screws. Now we have three small screws holding this mountain bracket 
onto the uh, deck. These can be a bit sticky to come off because there's a sticky material behind them. These tend to stick to the deck. Now we have the deck uh, assembly out. If you want to work on it, or uh, in what I normally prefer to do is just replace the whole deck assembly and the drum motor itself and then set it up rather do a repair on it because the time spent doing a repair um, labour charges will be so high whereas I can get a deck for these relatively cheap um, possibly about £30 from Sony um, then set it up set up the tracking uh, with my uh, CPC jig and uh, of course, you would need uh, a little tool there for adjusting the, the tracking as well. Uh, that's the actual numbers on it. Uh, I don't, uh, you get these directly from Sony, but I'm, I'm sure you can buy them independently of a, a supplier as well. Um, when you get the deck, it comes without the drum motor. You don't have a drum motor with the deck. So you would have to consider whether there's a lot of wear on the drum motor as well. This deck has a considerable amount of wear on the pinch roller. I can get the focus. There's a bit of a shine on it there, if you can see it. There's the pinch roller in there. That uh, rubber. Yeah, you can see it there now. Let's see, can I zoom in? But, uh, it's fairly shiny. You can see the, the reflection on it. That should be uh, a, a matte black with no uh, uh, with no shine on it. Um, it would have got a lot of wear. Uh, as a professional camera so it's just best to replace the whole deck at one go i hope that's of some help to someone out there uh, uh, thanks for watching